Good evening everyone, it's actually morning but the video is probably being released on an evening so hello. Today is a day trip kind of day, something that we don't normally do but we thought we'd take it along for the journey because it's something different and why the hell not. This morning Danny's knocked us up, beautiful, what is it? Fucking tears. <laughs> you had that much mess of made of potatoes, are you wanting me up? Well I'll say it's a potato salad but I hate the fact that it's a potato salad because it's not really a salad is it? It's a potato with mayonnaise on. With bacon, an onion, chilli and egg and on mine I've got olives. I thought you were man a three course meal, you might have a messy meal in that kitchen. Does anyone else's missus literally use every single item in the kitchen to make scrambled egg? I'll come in and I'll be like what the hell has she been doing? And she'll be sitting there with a little plate of or a bowl of scrambled egg. I do need to surprise myself. You just come and have a look at my mess, aren't you? <laughs> Like the human Hiroshima bomb, aren't ya? It's been one year since I released the first instant guide and because of that I've decided to do a special offer for the entire month of April. You can pick up all seven of our instant guides for the small price of six pound. That's less than a pound per guide. You get basically all of these guides. The guides are specifically designed to be viewed on a phone and they cover all the activities, things to do, the must-sees, the park-ups, routes, everything that you need to plan a road trip on the go. If you're wanting something a lot more complete and detailed, then we have our paperback and ebook collection available. This is the ultimate Scottish road trip. It's the very best road trip in Scotland, bar none. All of these guides are available at the link down below. <laughs> many castles that are as imposing and as cool to look at when you're driving than Bamber Castle. When you get a clear day like today, I mean although it's cloudy you can see for miles, the drive in it's so pretty. A uh, couple of cool vans over this side though. I'll show you. There we are having a little, uh, having a little natter. But yeah, so in terms of castles, Bamber is one of the coolest. Um, it's pretty much see it visible from most places when you're on your way in it's when it's a clear day like it is today you can see it for miles it's right on the top of a hill it's it's huge um it's absolutely ridiculous how they're building stuff like this back in them days is insane when you're walking around the cliffs there's a cricket pitch just on the like on the grass just underneath the castle and last summer I came to take some photos and there was a cricket match on and you've got like people playing cricket and then you've got this huge castle right above your head it almost makes you a little bit dizzy because you look up and you see the size but so there's about one two three four five there's about six parking bays which you can stay at overnight in this car park you do like I say have to book it online though so there's a website for it um, and it's called Lynx Road Car Park, that's the one. Um, it's got, there are no sleeping except motorhomes on part in a numbered motorhome bay and they are the numbered motorhome bays. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe, maybe there's only five of them. Um, I thought there was six to be fair. Um, but like I say, you have to book it in advance, you can't just turn up. Um, I mean, you could maybe try and book it before you get here or when you're here, but you have to book it online anyway, and it's first come, first serve. And like I said, there's this one plus Beadnell, um, and there's a few others actually, but they're all on the Northumberland website. So I'll put a link to that below if you are interested. But if you look at this as a park up, you sort of park there, you got the castle, and then literally, like, sea houses is up that way the walks and the pubs and all that that way. We stayed here a couple of times to be fair and it's uh, ideal. There's not really anywhere else to park around here if you want to stay off grid, that's your best bet. I don't think, no it doesn't have electric or any hookups like that though, so you do have to be self-contained. In all fairness though, I've just paid on pay by phone and I went to put two hours and I think it's changed it to three because it's the same price. And it's six quid odd. So it must be like yeah, six pounds sixteen for three hours. That's expensive, that extortionate. But anyway, at least we're paid for. So we're not going to get a ticket. I don't need to get me stuff. Are you being munching because it smells of eggs in here? Yeah. I had a pre-breakfast, well pre-dinner. 
What have you? Which one did you have? Yours. Not Are they all these yours? No, there's one then mine. That's yours. Leave them mine. How come I've got the little end? Well, you chose it. I'll give you a choice. Is it nice? It is actually. I'm happy with that. <laughs> How happy? I'm um, extortioner. I'm just happy. No, no, it's nice enough. You'll enjoy it. Good. Time to get all my cock. I don't know which camera to bring. Shall I bring all of it? Yes. Fresh, isn't yeah. it? I like this bit. Like sheep, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I never wear it. I feel like a bit of a mong when I wear it normally. Why? I don't know why. I like it. it makes us look fatter than I am. No. I don't need any help looking no, fat. No, it doesn't feel. Nice. It's not even my hair. Look how blunt on grey. Unless that's a grey. <laughs> oh, oh my that is, god. That will be yours. <laughs> I'm getting old. Look at that. It's full on grey hair. Do I find Santa delivered the presents to the van? Right, move so I can get me shit. So, obviously, for Bamber Castle. Um, I need a few photos really of the outside and stuff, but if you want them to go in and do the tour, it's I think 17 at the time I'm making this video, so 17 quid per person, which isn't cheap and it's not part of any other like National Trust or English Heritage memberships or anything like that. But if you haven't been in, it's worth it because it's well cool, but it's not somewhere you'd probably go more than once, maybe. Yeah, it's, but it is. Cool, but if you look like there's this path right there so there's loads of like paths around it and nice walks and stuff all the way around so plenty of spots if you're not that arsed about going in and looking at some old rooms there is like they're all furnished in this one as well where obviously some of the castles are not and it's a little blush on the night so it does look nice <laughs> This is what I mean about Bamborough Castle, like you walk along and you just got that unit right up above your head. It's it's a canny size. Uh, I didn't even really get the camera to point up high enough to get it. Um but it's quite a impressive sight. Um in the summer though, all of this is heaving, so this area here is where I was on about where the cricket it's played it's cricket matches, the pavilion and stuff's there. It's when the weather's nice here, it's absolutely gorgeous, but it is busy. There's not a lot of car parking either, and everyone tries to park on the country road so they didn't need to pay for parking. But yeah, it is it is a cool spot. favourite part about being in Bambra and sea houses and that is the dunes go on for absolutely miles so you can find like nice little private chill sections if you just want to relax the only downside of that is though because it's hidden most of the time most people don't pick the dog shit up and dogs seem to love to shit in dune grass so you do have to navigate with care the little uh, dog parcels that get left in the grass quite regularly go look at the castle pretty the uh, scaffolding all over it like so it's not ideal for photographs not like I'm just here for photographs like <laughs> see look tell ya dog parcels Hidden in the grass like the snake. There's a snake in the grass. A poker Where you going? Around here in the summer though. And the queues are normally right down there. I wouldn't mind being a quid behind the people that own this. Some of the houses along here are absolutely ridiculous. I've never walked along there. But they're absolutely massive. And there's neat it, it's just great. <laughs> you need house that big.
words cannot describe the smell emanating from me uh, chatty salad with some boiled eggs. The eggs are lifting. Um, not a bad little spot though, just the castle there. I'm gonna sit and uh, have some food since we've got some time left on the park and, and then push a bit further south to uh, Sea Houses, which is literally five minutes down the road and uh, Beadnall as well, which is just next to that. And then we'll head down to Walkworth. Walkworth is one of our favorite places in the northeast at the minute, isn't it? The castle's just cool as well. It's just like a cool spot where you see, like there's just one hill in the town and they've just plonked a big castle on top of it. It's well cool, but the town's lush. Nice little river walks, cool bridge, and there's a beach very much like here. Um, all of this coastline, in all fairness, is very much the same in terms of, you've got a lot of dunes, and then like a long stretch of sand. So ideal with, for people with dogs, if you've got kids. Um, just If you just want a bit of space on the beach, some beaches are so small, like everyone's on top of each other. It's not like that at all here, so. It is worth a little visit if you want to come to a nice beach. And yeah, I'm gonna eat. Mm. Eat some food. At uh walk with castle last time it was eventful wasn't it yeah, yeah. so last time we came here this happened now what had actually happened is the car park was busy and i drove all the way in couldn't turn around anywhere didn't want to have to reverse down the hill so i thought oh, i'll just drive around the outside forgetting how wet everything is i got so far i got stuck we did actually end up managing to get it back quite far but then it just sort of dug in and I just couldn't. I tried rocking it. We, there was a skip. We were like pillaging the skip for bloody bits of wood and all sorts to try and get out. And anyway, I ended up having to ring someone off Google who came and dragged us sideways off out the mud um, in a VW Touareg B6 thing, um, which could probably tow the castle if it needed to. Um, but this is what with castle. One of the things that we've done in the borderlands travel guide is we've made sure that any of the castles or anything like this if it's part of say national trust english heritage not scottish trust for scotland or whatever it's called scottish national trust we've got it in there of which one it's a member of so if you do want to join one you can look through the guide see which ones you fancy doing and if i don't know most of them are english heritage you think oh, i'll join that because if not i think this castle and most castles are about nine pound fifty per person for adults to come and have a walk around and it's not worth it at all but if you remember and it's about a tenner a month and if you once you've visited a few that's the thing once you've um, paid for admission to a couple and you've nine aye. spent your years yeah. worth anyway haven't you aye so it is worth joining um, but like I say the, the castles and stuff if you're English definitely or you travel to England a lot then the English Heritage one is good because there's tons of castles and all sorts all over the country and it's covered by pretty much it covers most of them National Trust more like the estates like Cragside places like that and um, National Trust though you do get entry to the, a lot of the car parks for free as well which you do in English Heritage but you also get um, the Scottish one as part of it um, I'm sure there's more information on the website and stuff if you're not sure what to do for that but anyway we're going to get our stuff together, I've got my little membership card and we'll have a mosey in Walkworth Castle. It's a lovely spot right on the top of the hill overlooking the whole area so you can see it for miles um, and again when I was researching all of this there's a lot of cool history in this castle, a lot. But it's in the book, so you'll have to buy that. I'm not, I'm not telling you now. I'm not giving you free information. Yeah, none of that free. I've already given you too much. Too much. Give too much away. So Danny's decided a jumper, this, then our Arcteryx down jacket, and then presumably you're putting your big fluffy thing on. Yes, I am. So if you see it's us, <laughs> if, put... if you see us and you think it's the honey monster, <laughs> it's not. It's Danny with about 19 layers on. How can you move? Dave, it's cold. You'd be like, you know when you put kids in them snowsuit things and they're like, walk with their arms out of the side because they can't really move it, there's too much padding. Let's see. 
Oh, good job. That, surely that'll not fit. It will. My eye. <laughs> look at that. Do I look like it? It looks like Mike Wazowski of Man <laughs> Monsters Inc. <laughs> yeah. And the scarf on and all. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There we are. I'll be nice. People will be like, wow, she looks a bit uh, thinner on the video. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the one in the Lord Crew arms in uh, uh, it, it, the Lord so Crew one. I was gonna say it is bigger. These are the stairs to the eel cellar. I wonder if they've got any IPA down here. Come on. Why is the staircase so narrow? You'll not fit down there, he's my Wazowski. car park next to us and I was trying to wheel spin to get out it was just caking mud all over their windscreen so I bet they were my best place when they got back to the car pretty much because they were a light turn there they were dragged out so I took a photo a few weeks ago on my digital camera and I want to take the same one and film but I'm going to get bagged down in the little back lane and I'll look like a right little dodgy dodgy sword And I'm trying to film <laughs> finish these rolls of film. There's three photos left of this one. So I'll keep this in food. I think I've got two left on this big old bad boy. Listen to that man. It's delicious, isn't it? Should walk out the bottom and then come up the street. Can do. That was Walkworth, lush little spot, lush little village, belt a castle, freezing cold, right on the top of the hill, and it's been an interesting and different one this time, um, like I say, not our usual stuff, but we thought we were popping out for the day, so why not? Like I said, if you want to buy yourself the um, uh, Borderlands 320 travel guide, the link for that is in the description below. Thanks to everyone who does buy it. It supports the channel and it saves us having to do reviews of stuff that I don't want any for money. Pimping me sell out. Um, but we'll see you in the next one.